This is a poem for Aboriginal people today because we do this on a daily basis. Our young people are studying hard at university and other learning institutions to find family stories, to mould that into drama or dance or a painting or a poem. So many young people are relearning language. They're in the archives now. We have access to the archives. Young people are still rallying around for our rights. So it's sort of a celebration poem for them, but also a challenge for all Australians that this is really important. There is blood on the truth. There's so much denial about the true Aboriginal history in Australia. If there wasn't, we would be the, uh, the true history of this country would be taught more in schools. When that blood is removed and the hurt is removed and the healing occurs, then the friendship that I always talk about, the friendship that I hope for, will be able to arise and I really believe Australia will be a happier place. The two footy teams will be, I don't know, not competing. They'll be sharing a meal on the sidelines. The laughter will come back and the, and the, the fear will be reduced. So it's a poem of celebration. Poetically, the boomerangs are our old men, our senior men, our warriors, such kind people. And they played our boomerangs. And they played in tune with the pulse of the desert. And sometimes when I'm daydreaming, I imagine I can still hear their music. They're not too far. That music, that music is still here. The Poinciana mentioned in the poem Unearth is the native Poinciana. has the beautiful seed pods that click and clack in the wind that have another noise that can't be distracting from that ancient noise of the boomerangs. So often when we say, oh, you know, we can still hear our old people, someone might say, oh, no, that's something else. It was suggestive that nature and our old people are one. <laughs>